Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, the newcomers, my name is Ziddy. yes, sorry, again, I didn't post a view this morning, I should be recording them in the evening Mexican time, but I just, too tired in the evenings, I don't know what it is, it's still getting into this new Mexican time zone rhythm, I think, um, so sorry for that, but let's jump quickly into the charts, I have three amazing cool charts, and today I'm going to film, by the way, with a really cool company called Ledger, but I will tell you more about that in the next video. Here, bam! First chart, four hour chart. Let's say what the bam bam indicator has done, and it's very windy, guys. Um, sorry for that sound, um, but look, the bam bam told you to short over there. The candle was closing down below the other stepping line. We had a red dot, we had the red line on top. We had a lot of yellow area over there and the bam bam already indicated already crossed a candle before so that's a almost quadruple confirmation of taking that short over there let's say you take the short on this candle a little bit later you would now be in a 6.2 percent profit with a leverage of 10 or almost 60 percent profit bam bam still working but that is not the important part of the day the important part today is are we zooming out yes let's Check this chart, very important guys. This is the day chart. On this day chart, you can see this huge drop of 30% and you can see this huge run of 239%. This is November, this red area, 2017. Look, we went all the way up on the 8th of November to 7,858. Then we all the way dropped to 5,518. That's a 30% drop on the 12th of November. It's a day chart. So that was this huge 30% drop in around the mid of November. After that, we had a 230% run all the way from almost 6K to 20K. Now, let's now move forward to today. Where are we? We are somewhere over here. Again, guys, we were here at 68. We are experiencing this as a drop. So this was on the 8th of November, 9th of November. We are now at the 15th of November. The dip was lower than over here. So this is not even close to the 2017 dip. And still people are freaking out this is a low this is a higher low this is a high this is a higher high so I hope you understand what I'm saying it's important to zoom out don't freak out so the BLX is a little bit lagging behind maybe I can switch to this chart so you can see it better over here this is the buy bit chart guys yeah there is a difference so let's do it like this and then like that something like this check it like this we will take here i will take the body so you can see it more clear so sorry for that this is the bible chart is more accurate so we have at the moment a high a higher high we have a low we have a higher low so normally this blue line is uh, the copy of 2017 by the way normally we should be keeping support at 60k going back again to create a higher high and maybe even then again come a little bit down and maybe then again go up and break in and then retest that is something that i'm expecting i'm don't, not expecting to drop below 60k at the moment i think 60k support bam because the weekly chart shows also that everything is still fine this uh, here down below you can add it to your chart as well it's the nvt hv combo still red the moment that one is going white that is the time I'm starting to freak out, at least uh, sell a little bit of my portfolio. Here, the RSI, like I've been saying the last week in the video, we need to cross that green line. If we don't cross the green line, that is not bullish, that is a little bit negative. And if you look at the yellow line on top, that is a 2017 run. We were almost moving the same as 2017. We didn't see this top, we didn't see that bottom, but we are still around that 60K level. Um, which in my opinion is very positive as long we keep support on this we still are in that move all the way up to the top that is exactly what this chart is showing you 
stock to flow model. Yes, um, normally we go to the light green top over there. You see the light green top over there that needs to be above that black line here. So that's still an area that we need to visit to create a blow off top. Now, oh, already six minutes. Let's jump in two more charts, no, one more chart. Bam, over here. And this one is very important as well, guys. Charts BTC, this is the yearly candles. Like I've been saying already since a year now. We always have three green candles, then a bearish year. Three green candles, then a bearish year. Three green candles, and after that again a bearish year. Now, this third green candle, is always the largest green candle look the third green candle the largest one the third green candle the largest one we are not seeing a large green candle this is even smaller than this one this one is going to be above up this one is going to be above 100k to become the largest green candle that is what is going to happen and then we will get a red candle from there again to back somewhere over here so this, in my opinion, is what is going to happen to Bitcoin at the moment. I am not freaking out. I am zooming out like that. And I hope you do that the same. Guys, hope you enjoyed this short video. I know it's a little bit late, but it's a video. <laughs> and if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day and that is way more important than freaking out on every single minute time frame on the bitcoin charts thanks and see you again bam